The Isle of Man, located between Great Britain and Ireland, has a diverse range of wildlife that includes both common and unique species, thanks to its varied habitats of coastal, marine, woodland and grassland areas. It also is host to a large number of superstitions, ghost stories and, in the 1930s, an extra clever talking mongoose called Jeff. In a windswept farmhouse on the evening of September 1931, following an outbreak of strange tapping sounds, a creature let out a series of growls from the upstairs attic. The Irving family, consisting of husband and wife James and Margaret, as well as their young daughter Voiré, went to investigate. The growls soon turned to gurgling sounds, like those of a baby learning to talk. The sounds belonged to the newest member of the Irving family, Jeff. Fascinated, James taught the unseen and mysterious creature to speak English, saying words out loud for Jeff to repeat parrot fashion. Jeff was grateful. In fact, in a letter Irving wrote in 1934, Irving recounted Jeff saying, For years I could understand all that was said. I tried to talk but couldn't until you taught me. Jeff laid many claims as to his origin, but eventually settled on the fact that he was an extra special mongoose who had come over on a ship from India. It's worth noting that while the Isle of Man is not home to any indigenous mongoose species, it was not uncommon for islands to import mongooses for pest control. Mongooses are adaptable creatures known for their ability to survive in different environments. Jeff became a local legend on the island, and it is said that he would not only talk and occasionally terrify to family as well as the community, he would sing and even occasionally dance for amusement. Jeff's moods would swing from jovial to terrifyingly intense. Many began to suspect that Jeff was no mongoose, but perhaps a demon, a poltergeist, a disembodied, confused spirit. However, over time, people chalked the Jeff story up to a schoolgirl prank by Voiré, daughter of the Irvings, who was known to be talented as a ventriloquist. However, the family insists that Jeff was a real phenomena, and at times he even allowed photographs to be taken of him. Eventually, Jeff had had enough of the Irvings and told them he would be moving on. The farmhouse once haunted by the antics of a mischievous mongoose was now silent. And today, the land Jeff haunted is all but gone back to the earth. But still, the mystery of Jeff persists. And many still believe that in the 1930s, the Isle of Man had and lost one extra clever talking mongoose.